Hello viewers, I welcome you all <coughs> from HLTF Tech channel and today we will talk about more details of our previous video. Uh, in our previous video we saw that all of these Microsoft products can be integrated with SharePoint and as a result following advantages can be achieved. Okay, you can increase the uh, functionality of SharePoint by uh, merging them with these uh, additional servers that are integratable with this technology now in our uh, current video we will talk about in detail of microsoft exchange server on premise installation uh, sorry integration with sharepoint and what are its complete benefits so this is our sharepoint integration server and first of all we will uh, deploy a separate server of microsoft exchange server in an on premise environment okay now if Microsoft Exchange Server is integrated after uh, installation with SharePoint 2019, what benefits it can give you or what increased features or functionalities can SharePoint offer after integration with Share, uh, Exchange Server? First of all, your libraries will be email enabled. It means that if there are your personal libraries or team libraries, in which multiple documents are uh, saved you can uh, configure your incoming document emailing facility whenever a new document will be added or deleted or edited okay your you will get a customized email on your uh, email that is configured for that library the second one is calendar overlay that is very important feature for example regarding any uh, you can say document or any event or any record uh, you want to uh, schedule a meeting or schedule a reminder for you you can use this feature after scheduling a meeting or reminder automated emails will be sent to you using your uh, emailing server the third one is site mailbox you can have your personal site mailbox features in which you can have your inbox outbox draft and uh, same features for your particular sharepoint area <clears throat> mailing services you can share your documents you can share your files you can share your records with anyone with even the access management facility okay you can have your email alerts you can email alerts are uh, same as email enable libraries similarly you can have file sharing with rights access management for example, if you share your file with any user that hasn't the access of that file, you can uh, assign whether that user can only view the file or he can even edit the file as well. Okay, so that's a very powerful uh, feature of SharePoint that is only workable if you integrate your mailing server with it. Instant messaging services is available and uh, you can even uh, manage the alerts. Okay. Uh, if we talk about the alerts and uh, manage automated rights management uh, let me show you here this is our file and uh, here you can see that there are different types of alert okay if I uh, say that alert me when items change it means that you can configure an alert that whenever any document in this library is uh, added modified deleted or any other option and when to send alerts is also uh, optionable and you can send alerts to the users you uh, want for example if i add uh, any other user i can even add more users here and i can configure the alerts and i will click on ok after that whenever the event that is set by you is triggered an automated alert will be sent to you in a summary form okay this is a very good feature similarly you can share your documents here for sharing all you need is to enter the uh, id of the doc of the recipient you can uh, please edit as required you can add an optional message here you can specify whether you want the link to be read only or you can allow the editing as well if i allow editing the link will be sent 
so that the user who will get the link can also edit the document here and after document after uh, editing you can uh, even see that how uh, what the user has modified okay similarly you can select that document and you can also share it from this point you can manage alerts you can do many wonderful things with uh, using your email collaboration service okay if you share this site for example if you want to share this document library you can even uh, select here the user with whom you want to share and you can even define the permissions this option is available for admin only because a user cannot assign this cannot share with the uh, additional rights to any other user so uh, similarly if any user doesn't have access to any library he will uh, send an email to that uh, admin of that site and he will request along with the justification that why he want access of that user and that all request will be received by the admin in his or in his uh, personal email box and from where he can either deny the request or grant the access okay so uh, the wonders are there whenever you will link to your exchange server there will be many features uh, i can tell you in this short video that uh, will be uh, available for you for your organization users to be benefit so don't wait further uh, go for it if you are a sharepoint administrator in your organization link to your uh, sharepoint with a exchange server or good mailing server and get the benefit of it all those users who are viewing my this video if you want that i may uh, upload a practical demonstration of a step by step integration of sharepoint with exchange you can leave it in the comment box so that after seeing the comments i will access that should i um, uh, should i dedicate more time on this video or uh, making a practical demonstration or not okay i thank you all for watching this short video and guys who are now who are my new visitors please uh, subscribe my channel and enjoy watching more videos i thank you all